Science at Home intro logo animation appears. It's a magenta background with a house icon and a heart in the middle of the house. Text that reads Science at Home is under the house. Scientist Mary Caruso Daly appears at home in her living room. Hi everyone and thanks for watching Science at Home. I'm Mary Caruso Daly and I'm an advanced product development specialist at 3M. One of the things I love about my job is getting to work with scientists all over the world to commercialize new products. Cuts to a wide shot of a table in the foreground and the experiment materials on the table. Have you ever wondered how skyscrapers are built so tall? Or how some bridges are built to span really long distances? We use engineering to come up with ways to build tall, long, and sturdy structures. The first building that was considered a skyscraper was in Chicago, Illinois. It was considered a skyscraper because it used steel and concrete in its foundation and structure. However, people have been building tall structures since 300 BCE. In today's activity, you're going to explore ways to build tall towers using marshmallows and uncooked spaghetti noodles. A transition slide appears reading time for the experiment. Our first step is always safety. You'll see scientists wearing safety glasses and gloves when dealing with hazardous chemicals or extreme temperatures. But today we're dealing with pretty safe materials. So I won't wear my gloves, but I will wear my safety glasses. Mary puts on her safety glasses. And make sure that glasses. you have an adult to help out in case you need it. To get started, we will need a box of uncooked spaghetti. Mary holds up a box of spaghetti. A bag of marshmallows. You can use large ones or small ones. Mary holds up a bag a of marshmallows. Or a tape measure, something to measure how tall your tower is. Mary holds up a and tape measure. And a place measure. where you can get messy. First, make sure you have a clean workspace and open up your spaghetti noodles and your marshmallows. Your goal is to create the tallest tower you can using only spaghetti noodles and marshmallows. Take a moment to think about the best way to do this. What will help the tower be sturdy? What kind of shapes do we need to think about incorporating for it to be sturdy? Next, use the marshmallows as your joints and the spaghetti noodles as your beams. Try to build the tallest tower. Periodically, use your ruler or measuring device, I have a tape measure, to see how tall of a tower you're building. Mary begins to build the first structure made out of spaghetti and marshmallows. The video speeds up in a time-lapse fashion. I've built this one to look like a cube, but as you can see, if I let it go, it's pretty wobbly. Mary shows her spaghetti marshmallow structure and it falls over and she laughs. Mary begins to build another tower. Let's explore using some different shapes to make a sturdier tower now. Mary measures the height of the tower. Mary continues to build the tower taller. measures the tower again. Mary continues to build the tower taller. Mary measures the tower again. Mary continues to build the tower. is getting very tall. 
Mary measures the tower is almost as tall as she is. The transition slide appears reading, let's break down the experiment. Mary is holding a tower and talking about it. Kind of reached a limit because the marshmallows start to get too heavy and they put a lot of weight on the spaghetti noodles. So the ones at the bottom started breaking and you could think about different ways that you could build a tower with some more reinforcement, for example. So looking at using shorter spaghetti noodles or even shorter or smaller marshmallows might provide something that is more stable. When we switch to the triangle shape, however, triangles were more sturdy as a shape as opposed to the square shape. A transition slide appears reading, let's talk about the science. So when we built the cube, the square was the base. And if we think about another structure we can make where the square is the base, I came up with this pyramid. You can see that this was a lot more sturdy because the bases were made out of triangles. And triangles are a great structure because it's the only shape where you cannot change the angles the sides make without having to change the length of the sides as well. And this makes triangles really sturdy and able to support structures well. Having a wider base gives this tower lots of stability and allows for better weight distribution. If we kept a triangle as the base in this one, and in what I used as the tall tower, I made an equivalent smaller version. And in this one, all of the angles are the same and supports the weight evenly. A transition slide appears reading more to explore. A close-up shot of one of the spaghetti marshmallow structures appears. To get the tallest one possible. Cuts back to wide you shot of Mary. You think about also changing the size of the sides. In this one, for example, I cut the spaghetti noodles to be a little bit smaller because they might provide a little bit more reinforcement. And I didn't see how tall I could make this one, but let's see if you could try building a tall one with sides that are different sizes. Remember to clean up when you're done. You can compost or throw away the marshmallows and the spaghetti noodles and clean up your workspace. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Mary Caruso Daly, and I hope you check out more Science at Home videos from 3M. Title screen, Bakken Museum, and 3M logo appear. The 3M bumper, Science Applied to Life, appears.